Hi my cyber angels, this is Sha from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your weekly reading and I'm doing the weekly readings from Capricorn, Aquarius and then Pisces and then I start a new video otherwise it's too long to load up and that will be um, Aries, Taurus, Gemini and the same with Cancer, Leo, Virgo and Libra, Scorpio and Sagittarius. I have computer issues and I have to bring away the computer so I'm sorry to have to do it this way but please look at the timestamps below the video okay then you can click on the timestamps and it will take you directly to the section of your zodiac sign please like and subscribe and please leave your comments below the video um, whether you like this setup and uh, I might just do it once again in the future but I know I haven't got any title descriptions to say what your reading is about I might try to put that in I don't know whether I can edit it that way I hope so but please bear with me I'm sorry for the inconvenience and take care have a safe week please subscribe and like and please hit the bell on all and also refresh your bell on all your favorite channels as the alpha rhythm might have thrown you out of that channels um, uh, as a member okay that is what I've just found out as well there's new things happening uh, on YouTube constantly and now Facebook is taking away the tags replacing it with face recognition go and have a look on Facebook as well because things are changing there that is what brought the issues to my attention and with my computer I'm sorry for the inconvenience take care love you and I won't be going live this week if I do get my computer back on Saturday uh, or before Saturday I will go live with you as soon as possible take care God bless and stay safe Hi Aries, this is your reading, um, the general reading for the week of the 24th to the 30th of August. We have just entered Virgo and um, we are in a different energy at the moment. You most probably have realized that and I hope you've watched the energy of Virgo um, video um, as it explains what the energy is going to be like. I'm sorry for the inconvenience and this is your section just follow if you are a cross watcher and you might have Taurus uh, or Gemini um, in, uh, uh, in your chart or you might be hooked up with somebody and have a look at the uh, time slots and just click on that <coughs> so this is your first card and you have the nine of pentacles in the first week sorry I'm think I'm doing the romance readings as well sorry we'll start again uh, you have the nine of pentacles on Monday you and uh, there is a face ending and you're going into a luxurious face a better face um, a face with more money or material this could be also more love more attention something that you might be getting an attention of a Virgo or a Capricorn or a Taurus and as it is um, in this deck there are two people and not just a lady with a, the bird of passion um, the falcon but you will be going into a richer face okay beautiful um, and I quite like it that there's two people in this deck and showing that being together is being more in balance so you might be going in more in, into balance um, with your partner you might even be going up to the next level with your partner as that begin um, brings also much more ease on the financing financial side as when you have two incomes um, you have more to spend and after all it is the nine of Pentacles so you might have time now and a little bit more money to spend together 
awesome. I just like it the way it's um, depicted with two people instead of just being alone. As the Nine of Pentacles also means that if you are a lady, doesn't matter whether you're a lady or not, um, a man, or a man, um, that it means um, self-sufficientness. So you might be more self-sufficient. Perhaps you might have started um, a, a, a vegetable garden, and so that will bring in abundance on the food basis. You might be starting to do something more self-sufficient in making clothes or um, going out. So that is the pay one of my pagan decks. You've also got the moon, so you might be. Um, your move well this is the eight of cups the eight of hearts as well so uh, you might have felt out of uh, balance because 32 is a five and you might have felt out of balance and you're more in balance now because you've moved into the nine of pentacles and the face as the old face has closed off you might have partnered up with a pisces as the moon represents pisces you might be more listening more to your intuition, your feelings, your new ideas, and you're putting them out into practice. Because that is what the pentacles literally means, putting ideas into practicality. The Eight of Cups means that you might want a new start. Yes, you will have a new start, but don't throw old shoes away before you've got new ones. You might have just partnered up in business or in in, in life in general with somebody, like I said, with a Pisces. And the adventures are going to begin now because nine is an ending and there is a new beginning. So you could be um, literally uh, partnering up with somebody and new adventures and excitement is here. Wow! But there are things that you don't know if you are getting married or if you are going to live together or if you're going to uh, do business together then make sure that you know every single detail because the moon has a dark side to it as well you are on the right path as the m moon shines on your path to your northern note wow magic look at that that's the northern note it's green and uh, I have already had these cards for a couple of years, but recently I just noticed that one of the stars is green, and it's the light to earn uh, the light to go ahead, like the traffic light. Green, go ahead and do it. Follow the path. I'm giving you light, and so is the moon. So that could be your star that you have wished upon. In the middle of the week, you've got the Ten of Cups. You might be celebrating with family and friends. Wow! The ultimate happy card. You might be expanding your business. You might ex be expanding your family. You might find out that you're pregnant and you didn't know, but you found out because you've been doing your research. You went to the doctor or to the gross uh, to the shop to get your pregnancy test and you found out you're pregnant you're expanding the family and then you're celebrating that is the that could be the reunion or the celebration that you see in front of you then we have the ring yes that could be a wedding as well a wedding party a reception because you've got the ring and the ring means partnering up in business or in love You've got number 25, so luck is on your side, number 7. And you've got the Ace of Clubs. The Ace of Clubs is a new beginning, action, creativity, uh, logic, knowing what you want to go for. This could be a new job, like I said, a new business. It's a beginning, an Ace is a beginning. Big things are happening and you're celebrating. Awesome. This could be with a Sagittarius, Aries or a Leo, as the clubs are the fire signs. Awesome. And the Ten of Cups, of course, is the water sign. And we do have Pisces here. On Friday we have the Death. Very interesting. 
transformation. Yes, you are in a transformal um, situation or position. Ooh, even if you're pregnant, if you are extending the family, that is what you both wanted, then there you are. You're in a transformative period. You're not alone anymore. You've joined up. Um, there is a third party coming. It could be a Scorpio. No, that will be too soon. Okay, you might be part. There is could be a Scorpio also in the. Well, it's here in the reading. It could be also your partner that you're partnering up with. So let's recap it. We've got the water sign here, the ten of uh, cups. So these two are water signs, uh, Pisces and Scorpio, and the fire signs. Okay, so the um, the death doesn't mean an actual death. It means an end of phase, going into a new phase, like number ten, also an ending but a new beginning, as a ten becomes a one. Then we have an angel number. Wow, and you might have more than one choice. Well, they are here. You've got Pisces, Scorpio, and the three fire signs. Boom. This is the uh, uh, crossroads. This is the card for crossroads. Angel number is 22, so the angels are with you, giving you, showing you a sign. But two and two becomes a four, so there will be more stability, definitely in relationships and this new beginning. Like I said, you might be getting married. Okay, so that is your balance, proper foundations. This is a marriage for a long, long time. And you've got the Queen of Pentacles. Again, fertility, birth, birth of a child, birth of a project, of uh, a business, in other words, or uh, getting married. That is a project on its own. Because <laughs> um, it takes a lot of organization. Okay. Um, also, you could have a, a, a choice of partners because of the s being the crossroads. But she's all, she doesn't represent only the birth of a child or a project, but also she has green fingers, so she nurtures it. She is nurturing something that she loves to do, and it will bear fruit again and again and again. It will um, bring... Um, uh, I forgot the name now. Not residue. It will bring returns. It will bring returns again. Like uh, if it is a new job, um, then it will bring in money every week or every month. If it is a partnership, like a business, it will re bring in uh, money again and again. New clients, and you will be expanding your clientele. Perhaps you're joining two businesses together as we have the stairways splitting it gives me an idea that you might be bringing in two businesses or expanding your business like i said <coughs> at the weekend you have the six of swords you're moving away from rough waters from the fog look at the fog behind her she's moving forwards and she's drifting into clarity and quieter waters you might be moving the business, you might be moving the home. If you are expending the family, then you need more room. So you might be moving home. Or you could be moving your business if you're bringing two businesses together. This could also be the two people coming together. But you have to choose, do you want to do that? Or you might be going on honeymoon or on a holiday. You could be crossing water. Again, the northern star. Beautiful card. And that's a six. You are in balance at the weekend. And we do have a couple in the reading. We've got the king of diamonds. So that's the king of pentacles. And again, a seven. 34 is a seven. And where did we are? We had a seven here. So seven, seven. Have a look on Google. What seven, seven means? Perhaps it could be a, a house number. If you're moving home, it could be seven, seven, seventy-seven, and seven and seven is fourteen. So it could be number fourteen. It could also be number twenty-two. Note these numbers down: thirty-two, twenty-five, twenty-two, 
and 34. Add all those numbers up and you will get, what will you get? Uh, 32 and 25 is 57. 57, 58, 59, 59, 59, 79, 79, 109, 113. Could be also 113 or it could also be number 4. Those are, that's how I muck around with numbers, numerology. Um, that could be your house number as well. You've got the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is a person. King of Pentacles is Taurus. And the Queen of Pentacles is Virgo. So definitely we have the Pentacles in here. And those are the couple. So you might be coupling up with a Virgo or a Taurus because we've got a couple so that means that you could be coupling up and that's the ring as well so that's why I said marriage or business um, but the king of pentacles does have uh, a talent and what everything he touches will turn to gold so that could be um, your investments that you are investing and with somebody else you are partnering up so like I said it will bring back returns again and again and again the rediment that is what the word I was looking for you see it does come to me anyway sorry about that and the king of pentacles has also got the midas touch the touch of gold okay now the angels say here no need to worry no not if I see these cards there is no need to worry Aries so Aries you you are in the reading too you will f be feeling strong you are in balance you've got luck on your side there's new beginnings there will be a transformational period as well and um, that could start on the Friday but overall you have a week to celebrate beautiful with family and friends perhaps you might be getting married or thinking of getting married or getting proposed to or you might be joining a, a partnership in business awesome I hope you have enjoyed this reading take care and stay safe please like and share and um, give us the thumbs up Take care. Sorry for the inconvenience. Ciao, ciao. Hi, Taurus. This is your reading for the week, 27th to the 30th of August. And we've just ended Virgo. So have a look if you haven't already seen the video, uh, Virgo Energy. I think it's lovely actually the video because it just shows you the different types of energy we are going from a fire energy into an earthly energy a more practical energy and easy e at the it will be easing up a little bit things will be going slower and steadier the first card that you have Taurus is the tower so an unexpected new beginning might arrive something was not built on proper foundations and the, it was a stormy time that you went through but the divine stepped in and gave you a new beginning that you didn't choose for or that you didn't expect perhaps perhaps you might have lost friends or friends might have moved away and that you didn't see coming either but the friendships weren't built on proper foundations or partnerships this could also be an unexpected loss of a job especially now with the COVID a lot of people are losing their jobs but where there is a door that closes there will be an other that opens the clarification card is choices you've got number 22 like I said the angels and the divine have given you this new beginning so don't worry about this because the angels have your back you might have more choices than one to choose from for a new job a new position or whatever your situation is this is a general reading so 
if you are a cross watcher uh, this means also for you have a look at your moon sign or the rising sign you've also got the queen of pentacles the queen of diamonds so there is a virgo uh, around you that um, might have left you or un unexpectedly uh, immigrated or uh, this could be um, and Virgo that might be offering you one of the two choices the Queen of Diamonds the Queen of Pentacles is a person that stands for fertility the ground in time is fertile to have a new job perhaps a new home perhaps you um, had to move unexpectedly because you got this job and that also included a move so or you might be moving from an apartment to a house or to an other apartment the choice is yours the, so that could be the uh, birth you could be hearing of a new job miles away um, perhaps 22 hours away perhaps you might be in Canada and you have to move to uh, America for your job don't worry the angels and the divine has your back so the queen of pentacles birth fertility birth growth she nurtures the seeds that she sows to beautiful complete plants and harvests harvests their fruit after they have bloomed so there is something steady and surely growing for you um, so something that you might have wanted and you've been manifesting it uh, subconsciously and now it's unexpectedly coming to fruition awesome and it is middle in the middle of the week you have the fall again look at this transformation something is being transformed and he's looking towards the tower and he's screaming ah, no I don't want this and all of a sudden or he can say yeah hooray we can go away we can start again and you've got the choices right beautiful I love it take that leap of faith darlings don't worry the divine has your back okay you've got no 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 Okay, you've got number 34 here, which is a 7, which means good luck. And you've got the King of Diamonds. So we've got a couple here, and I did shake the cards. So you could be coupling up with um, a Taurus. Okay. But Taurus, you are in your ultimate power. So you could be coupling up with a Taurus or a um, Virgo. Could, but don't exclude uh, Capricorn uh, I know these are just signs but it is definitely an earthy steady sign okay the king of Pentacles as we all know has the meters touch he knows what he's doing he listens to his intuition he is no fool to be reckoned with definitely not he tries to get all kinds of information and he does the research before he invests so perhaps something like I said is you've been unconsciously manifesting this and now it's come to the forefront unexpectedly okay let's say something really daft you've bought a scratch card and you've been manifesting I want to win I want to win I want to win and boom all of a sudden you have won something came in unexpectedly there you go you didn't know about it so you could be meeting up you have choices or you might be investing in something Taurus as that is your card you might be investing in something new in more choices than one I might add as well as we have this crossroads that, then you are rich if you've got a choice then at the end of the week we have the Queen of Wands midsummer and that's where we've just passed midsummer okay we are into Virgo 
by the end of well already this week okay so look at that the Queen of Wands you might be even partnering up because we've got the Queen and King so there might be a partnering up this month with somebody either romantically or <coughs> generally in business she is a very determined lady and this could be you because you are in your element you are here as well the King of Pentacles so you are definitely taking that leap of faith either partnering up in business or in love you've got more choices you like I said you might be unexpectedly moving home that is what could be happening you could be moving home um, you might live uh, move in with a Virgo or a Capricorn for that matter because the two earth cards are there or you might be moving in with a Queen of Wands and the Queen of Wands is Leo but don't exclude Aries or Sagittarius or for that matter they might move in with you and you weren't expecting it okay this could be because of health reason, reasons or they could be family as the tree represents health financial finance um, also space um, family tree um, and perhaps somebody in the family that could be a Capricorn a Taurus again or a Virgo or a Sagittarius Aries or Leo could be moving in because of their health or because of their financial situation but you've got the seven of cups or perhaps they are dreaming about something or you might be dreaming coupling up or having company um, in the house uh, to ease the financial burden or uh, the stress so that is um, your health and um, uh, you might ha have a garden and you want to go out there and um, do something with uh, the family member so is their stress or their health but you are you do have dreams and you do have goals because of the seven of cups and so I say make a priority list and take take the pros and the cons perhaps you might not want somebody to move in but due to circumstances because it is a difficult time perhaps it's a good idea for just a few months and coming back onto the fish um, I only talked about the number and the king of pentacles and forgot about the fish know your boundaries and know their boundaries tell them what your boundaries are if they do move in with you for health reasons or financial reasons whatever that may be know each other's um, boundaries and don't cross the boundaries otherwise there will be arguments okay right so you've got luck on your side anyway because you've got seven there you've got seven there so go for it and you've got an angel number now at the weekend you have the Lord yes you are the Lord of your house you are the boss of your house nobody can tell you what to do um, and when to do it and they have to know their boundaries and respect the Lord of the house now we've got a man lying next to a woman again coupling so you might be coupling up you might need to seek advice and the Emperor that's the Lord the Emperor uh, represents uh, Aries as well and it's lying next to the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Wands is Leo but it could be uh, an Aries as well or a Sagittarius you might need this uh, the Lord the Emperor uh, represents not only Aries but also represents a father figure or um, a professional advisor this could be a lawyer an advocate name it social worker doctor because we do have the card of health here 
um, you could be seeking advice from a doctor and they said well you need somebody to take care of you you can't stay alone then you have the card of a lady yes this lady knows what she wants and it's number 11 9 and 2 is 11 so the angels are showing you a sign again and you have the ace of swords you have victory ace of swords ace of clubs so let's talk about the ace of clubs the ace of clubs is victory the swords so there could be a new beginning for a study there could be a new job that involves teaching uh, judicial issues or working for an institution or a municipality and there that will bring in good money you might be partnering up with uh, if you are an advocate or a lawyer or a bookkeeper you might be or um, a social worker or a teacher you might even form a partnership uh, with an other teacher so that you can work part-time and they work the other half of the time because you might be a mum or you might have other um, other duties to take care of a sick family person that you only can work part-time outside the home um, and you need also your own space so that you can work the other half of the, the time at home something like that I don't know perhaps that is what you're seeking advice about or literally partnering up as we have the king and queen of pentacles it's also I'm, I'm getting also feeling for somebody that you are looking for somebody to look after somebody of the family because of the tree the health and the family um, and you want to go out to work and you have choices to make are you going to stay at home or um, are you going to do what you want because this card the Queen of Pentacles wants is definitely somebody that knows what she wants and she wants to do something and this lady is the same she's got no secrets to hide she is family family feminine and she wears the sign of Venus so she you do love something you love to do something and you've got nothing to hide you want to go back part-time but you need a carer let's say a nanny or a carer for your uh, mother or father that is has an ill health and can't stay at home alone because we do have uh, the father figure here and that's the Lord okay it could be that you seek his advice what do you think dad do you mind if somebody comes and looks after you but at the same time it can be a woman or even a couple and if you have a house that is big enough that could be the unexpected that somebody's health in the family has changed and you're moving them into your home you're moving away from an apartment to a bigger house okay uh, because you might feel that they're too vulnerable to live in a home so you are taking them into your home because family after all is important blood is thicker than water and that is what I'm hearing and legally you have advice and legally you have success and victory perhaps um, there might be a new form of communication with uh, this person because they can't communicate because they've been sick okay this could be also judicial advice um, can I uh, have somebody moving in with me or and um, can I uh, do this or is it a full-time job you want to know the ins and the outs before you take that leap of faith but I think you're going to do it whatever it is you're going to take that leap of faith and it's going to be a big success so long you know your boundaries and they know your boundaries legally as well like this is this reading is getting uh, um, a life of its own but it, it keeps on going on in my mind and I can see it I can see it perhaps you're moving out of the city into the countryside and you need to be on time at work in the city so what is the solution what can you do perhaps you might be seeking advice 
about that as well because you're taking on two jobs okay looking after your parents or a loved one it could be a, f a, f uh, a friend that feels like family to you as well you are rooted to each other it could be uh, also that you are the female and you're looking after another female okay another lady it could be a mother and a father like I said we've got the couple here it might not be that you are coupled up because you are already coupled up but you have considered this with your partner and they said yes we would do the same for my parents okay there's no arguments here at all it's already been done the un there was no arguments because this is out of your hands this was done okay do take time out for yourself that will be really good for you you must learn to make time for yourself that is important that is what I'm hearing as well because you want to you can already see what you want to do and you're going for it you have a success whether it's business or home or whatever okay you do and you could have a chance of definitely of falling pregnant so if you don't want to fall pregnant then take precautions meditation brings answers okay sit quietly think about it contemplate about it meditate about it but also evaluate okay and if you are moving from an apartment to a bigger house so you can have the, the grandparents there then there might be legalities like what happens if one of them dies do I lose my 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 the roof over my head because I want to keep myself safe as well as my family so perhaps you can uh, you might be seeking advice legally about that as well I hope you have enjoyed these readings and if it doesn't resonate with you, then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. Stay safe and please like and share and subscribe if you're new. And if you would like to have an extended reading, then let me know. Take care, God bless and be blessed. Hi Gemini, this is your reading for the 24th to the 30th. And your first card is the Four of Wands. Wow, there's going to be celebrations this week. Uh, Monday, definitely, hopefully. <laughs> um, well, because I'm also a Gemini. You, you might be waiting on news, but you might also be getting married. If you're not getting married, then you might be invited to a wedding or another form of celebration. Um, this is also... Uh, the, the four of wands also represents that you might be buying a house or you might be moving to a new house that you have bought remember that if you are going to celebrations a wedding or uh, anything like that then uh, you will be meeting new people there and this could mean that one of those people or lots of those people might become friends and they will be built this friendship will be built on proper foundations it could be a lady but it doesn't have to be a lady because in this deck it's only a lady that's standing there on her own but it is the card of marriage and usually you see them standing together so perhaps you might make a new friend it could be a man or a woman but a nurturing kind of person as we've only got a lady here and a lady does mean love passion nurturing caring because that's the archetype of the lady so there might be celebrations on Monday let's have a look Ooh, we've got the man the nice man the other one is just sitting there with a rose in his hand waiting for love well this man knows what he wants and he's going to go for it he also is very masculine because he wears the sign of Mars he does not let anybody how do you say it? this is literally translated from uh, from Dutch when you have a slice of bread then you have uh, something on top of it and we call that beleg um, he he won't let's say you um, bread and butter with a slice of cheese he won't let any that's literally what the saying means 
he won't let anybody pinch his um, his slice of cheese. No, he won't let anybody um, pinch anything that belongs to him. That's basically the message. You've got 28, so there is an ending coming, um, as that is a 10. And where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. And you have the Ace of Hearts. So this man can be a Cancer, Scorpio or a Pisces. It could be a new love or it could be a new job um, or a new project or a new house like I said because of the four of ones that represent the corner. So something that you're passionate about or that you love but it could be also a new love coming in. And since this is the marriage card and we've got the lady and the man now this is extraordinary really because like I said usually the four of wands is depicted with a man and a lady so here it is definitely clear that you could be partnering up or coupling up with a man okay or a partner a new partner okay lovely now let's see if the other man is in the deck but now you see two people so there's no third party okay that's very clear now gosh this is the two of cups I did not sort these cards out my darling you are forming a bond you are emotionally in balance this could be your soulmate that you have been waiting for if you're not hooked up or you might even realize now that the person that you've married is your soulmate and you are emotionally comfortable and in balance. Awesome. Well, this card in this deck it says harmony, yes, union, yes, there could be a partnership in business as well. And well, we've got the bunch of flowers. You've got number nine, an ending, a new beginning. This is the Queen of Swords. This, the Queen of Swords is Libra, but don't exclude Gemini or Aquarius either. This Queen might come across as cold, but if you are uh, the right person, Gemini, or you could, this could also be a man. Don't forget that, okay? Because the cards aren't sexist or discriminative or whatever. The, it could be a man with a female side to him because we've got two ladies here so it could be a very nurturing man and the the, the king of uh, the the cups people are nurturing they stand for nurturing passion and love and they will be your sort of cup of tea because um, they might have air in their sign because this if this is not you if this is not you like I said this is Libra so you could be meeting up with the Libra Gemini and that could feel like a soulmate definitely because they have the same qualities as you most of them in general like wisdom they are eager to learn that eager to chat communication is important to them and also the playfulness the create for uh, the createfulness of the air signs okay and they like to be clear and precise, um, honourable, uh, justice. That is um, what the air signs stand for. But each sign has also got extras. Um, so you could really converse and feel at home with this person. Um, there is an, an ending coming to a difficult situation because there's too many good cards around it this is luck somebody might be giving you a gift so somebody might be coming around and giving you a little present perhaps a bunch of flowers to celebrate okay um, also um, somebody might yeah I feel there is news on the way so it could be from an air sign or a water sign um, and there are look ending you're moving on from a 9 to a 10 so there's definitely an ending at the beginning of the week this is Monday and this is Wednesday and because something is coming to an end you're going to celebrate so you're going to hear good news definitely and you will feel actually in your 
ultimate happiest power not because of this card or this card but because the news that you're going to receive is positive <coughs> you've got oh gosh they can't get any better than this you've got the six of ones again victory victory you've got recognition you have the, got the recognition of the community of the public and also of the people around you that is why you can unite make a union great great stuff you might be moving home like I said you might have bought a home or you might have moved in together <sighs> this is great this is moving home or going on holiday you might even get an invite to go on holiday lovely you're going onwards and upwards you might even get a promotion because of this recognition and because you've worked so hard you've been diligent you've been patient and you are getting rewarded you might even buy that car that you have had your eyes on you can do it awesome victory it says victory well that's what I already said don't you might have more choices you might be too much in your head Gemini because again you've got a nine and that's an ending so there is definitely an ending coming big time but you are in balance and you have victory and you are going to celebrate this week don't doubt about it but you are too much in your head because the cross means that you might be depressed you might be too much in your head and you might be worried now you've got two sixes here because you've also got the six of clubs the six of ones which is the same card as this so you might even have a double victory coming in Woo! yes so get out of your head and have faith and trust yourself it's going to happen stay positive I know this has been in the cards for at least two and a half months to three months but it's going to come you've got two sixes so that's the angels giving you the angel number you've got the ten of pentacles oh my goodness tradition tradition yes marriage is tradition doing it coupling up the right way is a tradition doing everything by the letter of the law the queen of pentacles balance two okay the two to two scales it's a dual also a dual um, sign it's balancing things are going to balance out well if you're not going to get married you are going to balance things out the truth will come out because the queen of swords stands for truth justice clarity honesty the the truth will come out Woo! and victory is yours big time at the end of the week you might have to make choices or decisions as the cross is also like the crossroads you are coming to a point that you have to decide what you want and how to do it and it's going to the difficult times are going to end where there is a 10 there's a new beginning you might even get an inheritance you might win the lottery somebody might be giving you a gift the, the that is what this card means but usually that card only means a small gift but with all these cards about money and about success and about victory it could be a big celebration like a marriage wow you might not be getting married you're on the right path my darling and again you've got 42 6 okay and you've got lots of signs any sign you've got the water you've got the air uh, you've got um, water again and fire really but they're not they're not from the big arcana so no I can't say you've got fire but you've got the queen of uh, queen of um, swords but take any air sign 
you are in your element this week. You're on the right path, so don't doubt yourself. You've got the compass pointing northwards. You're going northwards and upwards in this card and the, the cartomancy of this card and this card with the picture, the Six of Wands. Wow, really, really nice. If you, if anybody's done you wrong, forgive them, but don't forget. Learn from it. Let the n negative go and let the positive come in. Look at all those rays, okay? Look at all those rays. They're all the colors of the rainbow. The divine is with you. Just forgive. Let it go. Karma will take care of them. The divine will take care of them. Okay, so nine is a significant number and six is a significant number. As you've got nine here and nine, three and six is nine, you've got six and six. That is very significant. The truth will prevail and you will get your rewards. Um, the ten of pentacles means like an, an inheritance or a big lump sum of money. If you've been... Uh, if you've been waiting on a settlement, like getting divorced or whatever, um, you will get that settlement this week and you'll be celebrating if you're not getting married. You've also got a 10 there and a 10 here. Awesome, beautiful cards. Now let's have a look. No, nope, that was it. That is your reading for this week, my sweeties. It is a phenomenal week, and I hope it is going to come true for everybody. That they, the truth is going to come out, or they will get a promotion, or a new job, or a new house, something positive. Let me know below in the reactions what your yours is at the end of the week. Come back and l share it. Share the good news. Let us all have some good news and luck. We deserve it. We've been waiting for it for such a long time. Take care, my darlings. I love you all. Stay safe. Be beautiful and be sweet, my Jemmy Gem Gems. I love you. Take care. Bye-bye. Please like and share.